Hello YouTube, it's Matt with Olympus Reptiles. Today we're going to talk about several different snakes and one morph in particular. Hey Kurt, what are we talking about today? Today we're talking about Fireball Python. Fireball Python. That's right, today we're talking about <laughs> Fireball Python. And to start that, we should start with a normal ball python. You guys have met her before in our very first video. She's quite heavy. She's been breeding. But this is a lithia, our normal ball python. The reason I got her out today is so when I place the fire there, you can really see what's happening and what that gene does. It's not the most uh, expressive gene if you just look at it by itself in a picture on camera. When you got that comparison, you can really see the colors coming out in that fire. You also get some flaming in the fires and some blushing that you don't tend to get as much of in the normal. And you can just see the head stamp as well. I get these to cooperate. The lighter head and the markings on the head. So that's kind of what fire does. It also it tends to get brighter with age a lot and it tends to clean things up, kind of like some other genes we've talked about. And it's just kind of an enhancer and brightens everything as we go. To show you that point, we put this big old girl up. Whoa. So we've got our fire here. When you start combining that with other genetics, this is actually a female we've already sold as pending pickup. This is another female we had that we purchased. It was a, listed as a fire, possible yellow belly. When you put those two together, it's pretty clear something's going on there. So when you start adding in that second gene, yellow belly also is a gene that's not overly uh, apparent, but when you see the two work together, you can really see the color difference. You know, both these snakes, neither one of them are in shed or anything like that. There's no tricks here. But when you see those blacks lined up together, how much more pure and velvety that is versus much more of a chocolate, how much brighter the color is, you can really see, and then when you look at the sides of them, the flaming with the fire and the yellow belly together gets just really brought out all through the sides. Much more so than just a fire by itself in this case. And then there is again that head stamp, which you can really see the difference of. It's just more extreme because yellow belly does a head stamp as well a lot of times. So you can see those two genes coming together. There's also some differences in the belly. Just in the way the pattern checks, and this one doesn't check as much. That's a yellow belly coming out there. So we are pretty certain, not 100%, won't be till we breed her, that this snake here, whose name is Hestia, is a fire yellow. It's like wrangling cats sometimes. They're trying to go everywhere. Is a fire yellow belly. And we do know that this one is just a fire. So that's kind of what I have to share with you today. Question girl, do you have any questions for us? And she's back after a few weeks off because of weather. She was able to make it up to here for this trip in between snowstorms here in the Midwest. Are there certain morphs that pair well with fireballs? Yes, uh, there are. Fire is one of those things that can kind of go with about anything because it is an enhancer, it is a cleaner. But there's the ever popular firefly, which is a fire pastel, and they look like this on steroids. Put this girl up here. Once this video is really about fire. And they're both kind of being a pain. Ooh, she didn't like that too much. But uh, so fire and pastel pair well together. There is a super form of fire as well, which is a black eyed leucistic, uh, which is different than the blue eyed leucistic. So you'll get an all white snake, kind of, with black eyes, like solid black eyes. They tend to get patches of color in them, which will be like a, oh, about like her yellow, a really bright, bright color with some black speckling. And that's pretty random and patchy on how much they have. But it is a it is a leucistic with black eyes versus a super luster, which is a leucistic with blue eyes. So they pair well to themselves. They pair well with pastel. They look pretty cool with yellow belly. Fire really goes with about anything. It goes well with pastel and spider to make a fire bee. I mean, you, you can't, can't really go wrong with throwing fire into something. So it just brings out the better qualities, whatever you put it to. When was the more first produced? Uh, you know, there's been some debate on that. I'm not exactly sure when the morph was first produced. She has some questions for I've done a whole bunch of research sometimes. Makes me look kind of, you know, whoops. But uh, there's several different lines that have come out of fire, so you can 
there's some argument over who had the first one and whatnot, and then there's some things out there today that people think may be fire and may be different, such as uh, sulfur, for example. And we have a sulfur uh, snake. I guess I can get that one out and show it to you as well. If you want to wrangle this one for me, dear. Uh, sulfur is another line that a lot of people think is fire. Some people think it's different. I'm not real sure. Uh, this is our sulfur pastel lesser. So again, you can kind of see what fire does. Fortunately, I don't have the two gene version of just lesser pastel, but that's just a lesser. So when you look at those snakes, and again, you can really see what's happening. It's lightened up and brighter. A lot of that's a pastel. Same with the green eyes you see on the snake that this one wouldn't have. And you said... It's due to the pastel. This one has the sulfur. Has the sulfur, which a lot of people think is another line of fire. If you breed sulfur to fire, you get that same black-eyed Lucy we were talking about. Uh, it does a lot of the same things that fire does in genetics. And people a lot smarter than me are still trying to figure out if it's the same or different. But you can really see on the patterns here on the sides. I can get her to play nice. How her pattern tends to carry all the way through in most of the places. And this tends to be more melted. And the flaming just kind of coming up all through the sides. Instead of the color going down through. And that is that sulfur or that fire or whatever you want to call it. Uh, coming through. So that's it, it's definitely affecting the snake. And what you get. And that's kind of neat. So, And this is what a ball python does too. Right there. This is why they're called balls. You can pretty much play catch with it. It's going to stay in that ball while it's scared. If we leave it alone or really gentle with it, it'll get curious and come out of the ball. It's one of my more nervous snakes, so it does tend to roll up like that. Uh, that's why they get called pet rocks, you know. And they do that to protect their head. So if a predator's messing with them, they're going to hide their head and protect what's important. So that's why they do that characteristic. So any other questions? Question girl. Mm -hmm. Do you ever experience a burning sensation when you handle them? See, you guys missed her, didn't you? Uh, if you feel the burn, you need penicillin. I, I don't feel a burning sensation handling them too often, but then, you know, I've handled a few snakes, so I can always, unlike many people, don't mind handling reptiles and snakes in general, so it's not a big issue. And so if we're going to handle snakes, what are we talking about again today, dear? I do believe we're talking about fireball pythons. Fireball pythons. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, hopefully we don't have a Jack Daniels ball python or something like that or I might be hammered in here. But uh, we'll just stick to these for now. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and uh, follow us on Twitter. And um, we're looking forward to hopefully showing the Jameson morph next week. But remember, <laughs> we are trained amateurs here at Olympus Reptiles. So Very amateur, yes. do not drink and handle reptiles. No, don't do that. And the Jameson morph, for those who think we're serious, is a joke. But uh, thank you very much for tuning in, and we'll catch you next week.